Let's get organized for 2023. And we're gonna start with one of your hidden spaces, the coat closet. And I've got five tips on how you can get your coat closet decluttered and organized. Let's get it started. This video is brought to you by Apron Diva. Pretty and practical, we believe that an apron can be a homemaker's best accessory. Visit us at www.aprondiva.com. Tip number one is to remove all the coats from the closet and to bring all the coats from anywhere in your home and put them in one location. Now that everything's out of the closet, we're going to declutter. So now that we've got everything out, I'm going to sort the coats into his and mine. Because it's important when you're decluttering that you only declutter your own stuff. You can help your children work through their decluttering, but if it's a partner, he or she needs to declutter his or her own stuff. And yes, this is an awful lot of coats for two people but we live in a state that has four seasons. So we have to have outerwear for all four seasons. Now this is a coat that I don't wear often, but when the weather is absolutely crazy and it's bitter cold, it's perfect when I have to go out because it's really long and it's nice and heavy. So even though I only wear this one when the weather is at its worst, I need it when I need it. So I've divided my coats into winter, spring, and donate. So the donate ones are gonna be boxed up and taken out of the house today. The spring ones are gonna go upstairs in my closet in an area where I keep seasonal items and these will go back in the closet. Now this one is super heavy and it also has a hood. So that's why I definitely wanted to keep it. Now these are my five winter coats. I'll have to let my husband declutter his and then his will go in here as well. As you're decluttering, there are four questions you want to ask yourself. Question number one is, do you need it? Question number two is, does it fit? Question number three is, does it support the lifestyle that you currently have? And question number four, is it worth the trouble of storing it, of having to manage it? Because everything that you keep, you have to manage. You have to look at it as inventory and you've got to manage it. So, do you need it? Does it fit? Does it support your current lifestyle? And is it worth the trouble of managing it? And tip number five is what Kay from The Organized Soprano calls uniformity. And that means to have things in the closet that are alike or as much alike as possible. So for this closet, I chose to have hangers that are all alike. So even though the coats 
in the closet may be different textures and different colors, the hangers provide a uniformity that just tones everything down. And you'll note that I carried the uniformity to this top shelf in the closet. I use these bins to store our hats in, mostly winter hats, but some of my husband's spring and summer hats as well. So I've got bins of a similar color and the same size and the same make, just to kind of help tone down the different colors and textures in the closet. Now a bonus tip is to put decluttering and organizing your coat closet on your seasonal to-do list. That means every summer, fall, winter, and spring, you're going to declutter and reorganize your coat closet. That's the only way you're going to keep things up. And remember the most basic rule of one in, one out. For more homemaking and home organization tips and tricks, click here.